Hi there, folks. Now for something completely different tonight. I've been asked by a few people to talk about the last Pink Cream 69 record. And quite often, people have said to me, David, it's been like five years. And it doesn't feel that way because of the lockdown somehow. But it's been a long time. It's 2017, I guess. We're talking about, just to remind you folks, we're talking about this record. Let's hope it doesn't reflect too much. A bit closer. Headstrong from Pink Cream 69. So we'll put that back over there so you can see it, folks. Now, if you're just tuning in, my name's David Reedman, singer of Pink Cream 69, Voodoo Circle, and many other things that I've been involved in over the years. And what we're going to do real quick is, even though I've not got my glasses on, which is horrific, we're just going to play each track real short on Spotify, real quick. It's the easiest way to do this. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to, I've not prepared anything. I'm just going to play the track and I'm going to remember what I remember about that track. And I'm going to tell you guys, that's it. It's just as simple as that. We're doing a real simple thing tonight. Let's, let's check this first track. Wow, that's incredible. That is the first track from Headstrong. It was released in 2017 by Pink Cream 69. So yeah, I'm I'm here on, on Spotify and it's great. You can obviously, I'm checking back the tracks and uh, we bow to none. Um, this is an Alfred Koffler song. There's no doubt about it. Dennis wrote the lyrics and melodies. Uh, I was probably involved somewhere along the line. It's a, it's a band thing. But this is definitely a clear uh, Alfred Koffler riff. Um, a lot of this stuff, you know, when we were when we were writing with Pink Cream sixty nine, we we have like a A B list. So everybody comes up with like 20, 30 songs or something like that. I came also with like five, six songs, and yeah, you know, it's like which song makes makes the record. And this was an uh, obvious contender to be uh, the first track on, on the record, We Bow To None. It was just the, you know, the ultimate track that we that we do. And uh, for this session of all, above all, on this record, we, a lot of the songs were built in the studio. There's no doubt about it. Obviously, we rehearsed and we, we jammed a little bit, but it's not easy logistically. You know, I'm living in the Netherlands. So at that time, Obviously, the corona changed things, but at that time, it was 2017, so there was no talk about wearing masks and plastic stuff, uh, plastic everywhere. Um, so I went down, basically, for, for four or five days to record the vocals, and I recorded the entire record in really in, like, four or five days. That's the next track. Um, and I returned. I took uh, uh, one, of, one of Dennis's mics with me it wasn't this one but um dennis bills mike mike's himself so i took something like this with me and i then in my studio where i'm sitting here now i would then continue the record and finish the backing vocals off and that's how we made that record it was just once again quite um, quite you know it was pink cream 69 style of course in the early days we would go in the studio and spend weeks even months def leopard style you know in a studio and have an amazing time but those times it's still possible, but I think if you get a budget these days, you need to sort of uh, pay other th other things, unfortunately. So the second track on Headstrong goes a little bit like this. That's funny. It's been a few years and uh, we haven't played any shows. You know what I mean? Uh, the first show is coming up, of course, in July. Masters of Rock, which will just be incredible in, in Pilsen. So it'll be time to meet up with the guys and, uh, and practice a little bit, of course. But uh, that is Walls Come Down 
and when Dennis wrote this song, it's a Dennis uh, Ward song, it was clear to me, you know, this is a hit. It's a great song. It's really back to the roots. It's total Pink Cream 69. Of course, it's we've got a, quite a modern sound. If you're just tuning in, my name's David Reamer, singer of Pink Cream 69. And we're talking about Headstrong, the, uh, the last record from Pink Cream 69. And... We're listening on my phone real quick, but, you know, take the chance to go on YouTube, check out the song <clears throat> on Spotify, get your headphones plugged in. And this is a really well-produced record. Dennis Ward made an incredible job mixing this record. Quite often with Pink Cream 69, we record everything else and then we do the drums at the end. So you can change things. You can have a different idea about the drums and stuff like that. So the, the drummer, Chris Smith, is playing to like, you know, like a backing track that's just um, amazing. It's not mixed yet, but it's like the finished thing. You can still change stuff, but by then the vocals were, were done. This was a song that we also made a video to. Um, the video was not an easy thing. It was kind of like we had a budget. You know, we, what could we do? Stand on top of a building. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> Press the wrong button. Um, we could stand on top of a building or, and watch an airplane go over or we stand in a, in a, a factory or something like that. But we decided we're going to go in the studio where we recorded the drums and a lot of other stuff. We, re we did reamping of, you know, of the guitars. House of Audio and Hofer Studios in Karlsdorf, which is also in the south near Karlsruhe area, Mannheim, that kind of direction. And um, we decided we're going, to, we're going to go in there and we're going to jam to this video and, and uh, make it like a, a recording type sort of video. And I think it was a good decision because it gave us a kind of a return to the roots in a way. I do like videos. Obviously for my solo record, I've made uh, some videos. <laughs> Love them or hate them. Um, I like videos. I don't particularly like making them because after years of making videos, it's not exactly the funnest thing. Um, but yeah, I think it was good. You know, we didn't have a massive budget for that uh, video, but it turned out great and it gave us a, in a way, a kind of a modern kind of band type sort of feeling in the studio. And that was good. At least that's what somebody told me one time. That was really good. So that's the first two tracks. Tune in for more. Thanks for watching. My name is David Reedman. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want to watch what I'm doing these days. Thank you for watching. Adios.